Hello everyone and welcome to Desire Season 5. This season we're going to be playing Accumulation, which is the best PvE spinoff created by our lovely group of people here. In Accumulation, instead of receiving hearts every 10 minutes, you will receive credits. These credits can be turned in at the 750 coordinates of each map, or in the corner of each map, or in the corner of the map, god. Uh, as for game info, the map size is 2k by 2k, apple rates and flint rates are vanilla, player heads are disabled, the nether is disabled, horses and donkeys are off, in addition to all these rules, Fulbright and Outline Doors have been prohibited. Now, as for all that, let's just get into the players. So, we have a bunch of new people here, uh, starting off with new player BJ Plays. Following him is the returner from all the way in Season 1, The Rock Project. Um, after that is Americ, another new player. A fairy Juice, an additional new player. Uh, we have Flues Maker again. We have Fukano, new boy. Uh, we have me, we have Jake, we have Koki, we have KTR, we have Kelt. We have new player Lenboy. And then we have Crest, who has another fucking stupid name because he's bad with passwords. And uh, we also have new player Mr. Sonic Fan, Scribbler, Speedo Shire, Sugar Puffs, new player Brodeo, Capu new player Capirappy, and new player Sir Please Stop. Uh, as for all of that, I'm going to be getting into our thank yous now. So thank you for or thank you to Thomas X for helping me organize this season, to Leon TG for creating the plugin, to Dance1988 for creating the original game mode this that we spun this game mode off of, and to Oddballer and Queenus for offering me their servers, to Mr. Craftnator for offering the team speak, and without further ado, let's get into the game. Oh, Woo! Hey, uh, yeah. Yeah. That was that was a terrible that was a terrible scream at the end, but oh well. Am I the only one who feels like we've done this before? I feel like we've done this before. Fuck off, sugar. Really. Hello everyone and welcome to Desire Season 5. Uh, this season we're playing Accumulation. So hopefully things all work out to plan. I have been uh, doing things very... Um, <laughs> very uh, panicky. Because Tommy sort of just had to go out of the blue. So yeah, I've had to handle all this on my own. But hopefully it works out very well. Um, and yeah, I feel I am gonna apologize very fast right off the bat for my probably going to be very flustered commentary. Um, I've done a lot of things today, and <laughs> stacking the stress of organizing our quarter ground on top of it will not be any will not make my life any easier. Um, so yeah. Anyway, uh, let's just start talking about something that I'm actually had part of. Or I, t I took part in today. Um, so earlier today, I woke up at 7 a.m. in the morning for the uh, for my first college tour at uh, UNH Manchester. And obviously, for those of you who don't know, UNH is a college in New Hampshire. Um, and it was an interesting school, um, but I, I'm not 100% sure how I feel about it because I haven't been able to compare it to other colleges yet. Um, and yeah, hopefully this, <laughs> I'm just so worried about how this game is going to turn out because Tommy hasn't been here to help me at all for the past few days, so, um, but yeah, so college, college is definitely a big step up in life, uh, it's a very financial trouble time too for some people, as college can put you in debt for a large portion of your life if you're not 
too careful with what which school you pick or how you spend your money or whatnot. Um, so yeah. Another thing is, I really think the college application process is much more stressful than it has to be. I don't think it's it needs to be as complicated as it is. Um, there are way too many steps to it, and honestly, that's just one of my big turnoffs from wanting to complete all this stuff about it. Um, actually, let me just set... Apples... one. Apples set. Or no, vanilla. Uh, point, I don't know, but actually, no, I'm just gonna leave it, fuck it. Um, but yeah. Uh, yeah, college applications are certainly a big thing, especially because college is another, it's college, people say high school is a big portion of your life, but I feel like high school or college is a lot more important, um, because a lot more of your employers are gonna be looking, I mean, you can certainly first off get a better job just by going to college, um, and other than that, you also, it's also a big thing that, um, it's a big thing that companies consider too when you're getting hired, I think I already said that, but, yeah, if you, uh, have a, say, I don't know, master's in computer science, you're more likely to get the job than somebody who has a bachelor's in computer science, um, and yeah. Another thing too, is, on top of all this stuff, is that I sort of don't really understand why people decide to be teachers, because, like, I know teaching is definitely a large portion of, uh, life for everybody. Everybody usually learns things on a day-to-day -day basis, but I feel like, um, teachers are under-rewarded for what they deserve. A lot of teachers don't really get paid too much money in comparison to most jobs. I feel like teachers should definitely get paid more. It all depends on if they do their job, though. Uh, Dan took first damage, that's funny. This is first season back. Um, and yeah, I just sort of apologize for how much of a mess I am today. I've been all over the place, so... It's been a mess. Um, unfortunately, none of the three people other than me, or four people other than me that represent Desire were able to show up today. Uh, including Hunter Wolf, Zeneker, Tommy SX, and Smelly Burrito. Um, however, Kelt is still here, and Kelt's a Season 1 original, and so is, uh, Dan. Um... But other than that, we have a lot of people returning from Season 4, thankfully. Uh, scraping the other signups this season was sort of messy, but I'm still capable of doing it somehow. So, I'm pretty radical with that. Um, and yeah, hopefully this game mode works, because I ha we had a test game before, and the test game was broken. But I tested this last night on this exact server, and it worked, so hopefully it works. Um, I'm gonna have to remind people very shortly, actually, about a current glitch that we have. Um, well, actually, no, I don't have to remind people, because people wouldn't know, really. Uh, but yeah, I was gonna say that, uh, the best PV list is broken. Like, for example, if I do this right now, it shows a bunch of people that aren't in the game for whatever reason. So, uh, yeah. And I was also very pressured on this, because a lot of people have obligations after this, which is sort of unfortunate, but... That's what it is. Um, scheduling is another big portion of life, so... Uh, I don't know how I feel about how many new people we've added, but I'm still very happy with the roster that we currently have. Because this, this is a pretty good roster. Um, unfortunately, it does overlap with a lot of rounds, but, I mean, it's just... I feel like rounds overlapping with each other isn't really as big of a deal anymore, considering there are a bunch of recorded, round, recorded rounds anyway, but I feel like you should still try and have original players. Like, for example, KTR is a perfect example of an original player that we have. Uh, Craft took damage as well, that's good. Um, but yeah, KTR is an original player. Uh, who else is in Desire that isn't in many other rounds? I'm trying to think. Emmerich is in only Pathfinder, I think, other than this. So, uh, yeah, we have a few other good people that mix up the stuff a bit here. Uh, okay, border's right here, so that's good to know, because that means I can run, uh, in this direction, and try and find- I want chickens, I want a few chickens at least, because I'm sort of very unlucky right now with how, uh, ch how many chickens I have, and I certainly don't want that to be the deciding factor of my game. Um, I feel like I might dig down in this cave right here, it all really depends on if it runs into the border or not, and it doesn't look like it does, so I think I'm good here. Um, but yeah, Fulbright and Outline Doors are things that 
Desire has disabled, and I don't really know how I feel about that because I personally enjoy playing with those a lot, but I, I sort of understand the reasoning why, because I also agree with Tommy who suggested the idea in the first place that Fulbright and Outline Doors look disgusting in videos, and this is a stronghold! I will gladly run with this, um, and yeah, so, definitely, what cool thing? Okay, I don't know what Sugar's talking about, but whatever. Uh, Sugar's a little bit drunk right now, so I'm not too worried about what the hell he's saying, unless he has an, a legitimate question to ask. The crafting bench thing? I have no idea. This isn't high pixel. <laughs> That would explain why Sugar is confusing everybody. <laughs> Good job, Sugar. Okay, there's a zombie here. Let's just get rid of him really fast. There's two zombies, actually. Um, but yeah, Fulbright's just sort of something... I mean, it's useful for people, I guess. But it's also not exactly um, what people would want. Alert to knockback to you, book. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm very proud, though. That I got a, I didn't even know you could get books in those chests. I thought it was only in the library chests that you could get books. So that's a today I learned from me. Uh, I hear a skeleton, so I'm gonna run over here. Because I don't trust it, simply. Uh, this is a dead end, I want to say. Yeah. It's just a waste of my time. Let's get out of here. Um, but yeah, hopefully the season turns out as well. Or sort of close to how well the original season turned out. Um, unfortunate that I just took damage because my sort of, my plan was sort of to not do that. But I guess I'm just gonna have to deal with it for now. Um, I'm gonna probably try and hunt a little bit earlier than I normally do just because of that now. Um, probably not as soon as I did in the first attempt because in the first attempt I started hunting episode 2 because I found Sir. And now I'm running in loops, so this is, uh, not good, but there's a button right there, which led me to the more of the stronghold, so that's good to know. Um, I'm gonna kill these mobs really fast. Let's probably smelt up some of this iron that I have as well, because it seems like there's a zombie spawner. Oh, you're joking. That's a joke. Well, hopefully there's another, um, library in this half of the world. But I guess we'll find out soon enough, won't we? It's bread, I'll take that, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna throw out a bunch of stuff too. Da, 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 da. Uh, but yeah, hopefully there is another library in the stronghold because it sort of sucks that that got cut off from me. But I mean, I don't know if I want to use the knockback two book. I feel like I might just because melee is something I don't necessarily want to do this game. Kill that skeleton really fast. There's another chest here with more apples. I just got full iron from a stronghold. That's actually amazing. Best PV players have obtained their extra points. That's another skeleton. Don't shoot me. Thank you. Well, I guess it doesn't matter if I get shot now, actually, because I've already taken damage, but it would just be better overall for me to not take damage. Uh, I'm going to mine more of this coal, I guess. I hope nobody's near me, because having already taken damage, it's going to suck if somebody is near me. Uh, at least Kraft has taken damage, because Kraft was one of the people I was very scared of in this game. Uh, in the first attempt, Lulz sort of just steamrolled all over everybody, but now Lulz has left the round out of disinterest in Minecraft, so... Hopefully Cappy Rappy won't do the same thing to everyone, but I guess we'll find out later on. Um, I'm very happy, actually, because a lot of, or three-fourths of the people in the final fight of last season are playing this season, being, uh... Jake, Kaoki, and Scrib. And there's a skeleton behind me, so I'm about to get shot. Ow. That was very tricky. Um, and I apologize about the lack of torches right now. I should have just fixed that there. Uh, and there's nothing down here, so that was a large waste of my time. Um, but it's pretty cool that I got full iron out of a stronghold. That's definitely something I haven't done in a UHC. Um, but I feel like... <clears throat> That's so annoying, dude. I was looking for the book house, or the book room the entire time, and it's on the other side of the portal. Or, on the wall. Um. Oh, good. Uh, hold on. Message speed, have you... Did you run... 
around on the pad. Okay, God, that gave me a heart attack. Good thing Speed got it. Um, that's another thing too, that's another strategy that people are definitely going to use this game, is uh, if they already obtained the credit, they can just run to the thing before PvP turns on. Uh, this stronghold's leading me in very many places, and I feel like I kind of want to find that zombie uh, horde, I suppose. Because I feel like they may lead me to a cave, but I'm not sure. Uh, I'm trying to find lava here, but I don't know what the chances of that are. It doesn't look very high, so we're just going to go back up. Um, but yeah, the book house being on the other side of the thing is definitely a buzzkill. Uh, that was something I was really looking forward to, is hopefully getting a bunch of books from that, but... I can't reach it, unfortunately. It's right there. There's probably, like, power fours in that chest, too. I'm gonna probably check that after the game. Um... Oh, there's more cave down there, too. I don't want to look down there, because there's probably gonna be diamonds with my luck. Um... But yeah, let's find these zombies, because that's definitely gonna be something useful if there's a cave here. Um, alright, come on. Okay, there's the cave. Is that another? Oh, that might be the other book room. I think I found it. Okay, good. This is why you go to zombies, guys. Alright. Now. Where's the good boy chest? There it is. And there's nothing extremely useful. That's okay. I wasn't really expecting anything good anyway, so... Shouldn't have gotten too excited. Uh, where's this chest? Really fast. I wanna find it. Um, da, 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 there it is, with more books. I mean, I'm not troubled by that, because more books is always good. Um, the problem I think I'm gonna have later on in the game, though, is food. I think I'm gonna have to go back up and hunt for more food later on, but... As of now, I'm fine, so... I'm not too worried. Um, BJ got his heart as well, in addition to speed, and Sugar also got his heart. So a lot of people are definitely doing their own thing. Um, I'm sort of... I think BJ is doing his drinking game, but I'm not sure if that was for this recorded round or not, so... I'm not 100% sure. Uh, da -da -da -da. KTR took damage, that's a GG. A sec, PvP logging, okay, Dan. Um, but yeah, Dan, we, I was very happy that we got Dan back, because Tommy and I were discussing trying to get back Season 1 Originals, and Dan was the only one of everybody we could still get in contact with that we both agreed on adding back that also accepted the invitation, unfortunately, so. <laughs> well, that's, that makes it sound bad now, now I feel rude. Um, that was not my intention, I worded that very horribly. Uh, I'm happy to have Dan back. Um... And yeah, so I really, I'm just going to apologize again for how flustered my commentary is going to be this game, because it's really just not going to be that great at all. Uh, I'm going to quickly dig all this out, and yes, I realize I dropped my food, don't worry. Let's cook all this while I staircase down. Bam. That's not, there we go. And boom. Actually, I feel like I could just do this. That would work. Uh, so I got six apples out of a stronghold. That makes me happy because I didn't have to spend time uh, meandering around on the surface trying to get apples. Um, so yeah, that's neat. Uh, the definitely, I definitely want to get at least one of the best PvE hearts because people were definitely going to just start soaring upwards and going crazy with their hearts. So I'm definitely going to have to cover all of that. How much string did I get actually? Exactly 12. That's perfect. Um, I wanted to get enough for at least power 3, so that's ha I'm happy I got that. Uh, unfortunately, there are probably people in the game right now who have enchants, and I don't, so I'm being sort of set back, but I feel like this is just the typical curse of the organizer where I'm not allowed to do well. Um, I mean, the Lure 2 Knockback 2 book is pretty neat, but other than that, I don't really have anything else. Uh, and Lure is basically not going to be useful at all because uh, it's Luck of the Sea that brings in the actual loot. And while people might say, but Lure makes you pull in things faster, um, yeah, Lure makes you bring in more fish faster, it doesn't make you bring in loot faster. Actually, I'm pretty sure Lure even decreases your chance of loot. So, uh, yeah, that's another, that's a thing. Uh, I'm gonna have to dig down on the other side, I guess, here in a minute. Because I got shit out of luck with this edge, I guess. 
anybody else cashed in their credits yet? I don't think so. It does not look like it. Save my food. I should probably just make my bow right now. Eat this raw beef. Now let's do this really fast. Thank you. Do this. And kaboom. Alright, 39 books. That's not half bad. Um, I definitely want to try and use these books as much as I can. Obviously, for complete obvious purposes. Um, let me just make... That's iron bars. That is not a helmet. That's a helmet. And then on top of that, we're making a sword. And probably another pick. Alright, but yeah, we gotta go over here now. And yeah, fairy, actually. I added fairy just the other day, because Tommy and I were discussing... Whenever Tommy and I have discussions about um, adding new people, we always come across this decision that we agree upon, where every other season, we're gonna all... Or me and Tommy are gonna allow each other to strong arm another person into the round. And while that already happened with Brody, I figured I may as well, since we were on the downfall with people dropping out last minute, I figured I may as well just have, um, just added Fairy before we played here today. And it seems to have worked out well, because currently we have 20 people, so I'm happy about that. Um, it's a bit smaller than our usual seasons, but, uh, we're just gonna have to roll with it, I suppose. Uh, the original first attempt, actually, was, uh, a solid... 36 people, I think. That was some of the most people I've ever played with in a recorded round. Um, unfortunately, we weren't able to replicate that again because that was during the summertime. Actually, it was six months ago. It was in March. Um, we're currently recording this on the 8th of October. Um, but yeah, in March, on March 5th, we had 36 people playing. And since then, about seven people have left Desire, so unfortunately that's the case. But it is what it is. Uh, a lot of people still have their credits, so that's sort of not good for a lot of people. Fairy took damage, so that's sort of decent news, I guess. Um, the lower health fairy has, the better. Um, and yeah, best PvE, I know it's sort of common amongst recorded rounds, but I feel like this twist is a good add-on to it, so... I was very happy that we agreed on doing this game mode. That was an accident that I just did there. Um... But yeah, I need to also get a few feathers whenever I can, because, obviously, um, people are probably going to try and cave fight me if they find me, just to get credit again if they've already taken damage, so definitely need to do my best to avoid that. Um, I would go up on the surface and try and find a new cave, but I feel like I might run into more people. Yeah, Dan is allowed to zoom. I hear a zombie, so hopefully this leads me to a cave. But we'll find out, I guess. Oh, it's above me. I'm not sure I want to go for that. I mean, I'm going to go for it anyway, just because it might lead me to more cave below, but I'm not sure. Alright, so it's been 20 minutes. The episode timer should be going off any time now. Um, another stronghold, okay. Um, but yeah, apparently, there we go. PvP is on, and we are good to go, Famalam. So I found more of the stronghold, I guess, so hopefully this leads me- Oh, this is just the same thing again, Never mind. Um, yeah, let me just throw all this stuff out. But yeah, there's the end of the first episode, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time.